1975, German jazz rock supergroup the Rolf Kahn Group released their third proper album on MPS Records' Total Space, and from it, the track Buzz. <laughs> Racing an F sharp. Quite a tight rhythmic compartment there with a real driving hi hat. Okay, and that uh, uh, Fender Rhodes you're hearing is by Rolf Kun's younger brother, much younger brother, uh, Joachim Kun, yeah. Uh, the two of them were born 15 years apart. Okay, and the trombone is by the ever ubiquitous Albert uh, Mangelsdorf. Yes, uh, band leader in his own right during this time period. <laughs> Appreciate that rhythmic of our... I love how it's just emphasizing the third. Misty, real live sound to all this. I, and it basically recorded live in the studio on January 29th, 1975 at Studio Cornet, uh, conducted and arranged by Rolf Kahn, who also plays clarinet. <laughs> Like cutting up of the or of uh, the uh, piano sound. I'm hearing some wah wah in there too um, by Philip Catherine, the uh, English Belgian jazz rock guitarist. <laughs> Yeah, overall, real like psychedelic vibe to this. Kind of, kind of messy. Kind of, oh, just uh, really abstract and just everything flying around. <laughs> Some good, like, uh, rolls thrown in there every, like, sixteenth. <laughs> Okay, we have two drummers credited on this. Casper Winding of uh, Frank Zappa fame uh, and uh, Daniel um, Humer, a Swiss drummer who, um, that mm, well, he's played with a lot of people. Yeah, uh, the George Grunts concert jazz band, that makes sense. Okay, and uh, on tenor and soprano saxophone, Gerd Dudek. Yeah, he too has been on a lot of uh, like free jazz European recordings from the time period. Let's see, he was in Drum Circus. Uh, yeah, the Kraut. Rock band and 
the usual Glo Globe Unity Orchestra. Yeah, look that up on YouTube. They have some good, some great, like, black and white clips of them from, like, circa 1970, just really going dense and wild, that, like, experimental free jazz big band sound. Oh, 4-4 uh, four, four jazz. Um, Third Eye. Uh, Tony Oxley's Celebration Orchestra. Yeah, a whole bunch of things. <laughs> Fast is just snaking around. Okay, it seems like we got uh, Rolf Kahn just kind of like wiggling around there through there very fast, and he's being flanked by uh, Dudek. And now um, Albert is coming back into the mix. And uh, Joachim kind of, kind of like uh, Barry um, emerged. In all that brass, but uh, like rising, giving us some glowy tones on that fender. <laughs> And also some rather gruff, almost kind of boxy sounds. Sometimes uh, Philip Catherine and Joachim Kahn are being filtered through the same pedals. Really uh, tight thematics right there, almost uh, kind of like a, a, a chase scene type, type, uh, type sequence. Th this piece really like a, like an action drama chasing from the 1970s um better a uh, comment why I can the base work of Bo Stief who um had some uh, there were moments where he had some runs that really stood out in this <laughs> At this point, it's a bit more felt than heard, but it's 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 uh, adding to the brisk pace of it all. Wow, that was just over uh, almost five minutes, but seemed over a lot quicker just because it went by so fast and and was just a hard. It, it, it was just such a rush of of. Um, Ensemble and solo, and <clears throat> ensemble energy and rapid fire soloing and harm melodics and um, just instrumental dueling between several virtuosos on the European jazz rock scene. Yeah, and I've named them all. Um, basically, Rolf Kahn, aged 45 at the time of this album's recording. Um, assembled this band with his younger brother on keyboards in 1972 and put out three albums on MPS records between 1972 and 1975. And then another one on a different label that has more of that library type, type of album, type of cover to it. And, uh, yeah, um, with mostly the same cast, uh, an earlier album had Total Blank and Randy... Brecker on it. They weren't credited on this though. And then the first was recorded with Phil Woods. And um, it's basically bringing together the, the finest of, um, well, from several nations. We got, we got a few uh, German players, uh, at least one Swiss player, a Danish player, uh, UK uh, 
Belgian player. Yeah, so it, it's really, and even like an American player here. We, let's see, two Danes, yeah, uh, both stiff and uh, Casper Winding. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, for more rubies and sapphires from the uh, Rolf Kuhn group, See the directory of albums by German artists linked in the description below for Red Hot Tracks and Purples from the Rolf Kuhn group, as well as um, a whole lot more albums by his younger brother, Joachim Kuhn, yeah, who was very prolific as a band leader um, and soloist at the time, as well as the um, Albert um, Mangelsdorf and several other names that were mentioned. Or you could also find them like in, in other uh, nation directories that are linked at the top there. Like and subscribe, follow me on social media, share the video, and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the track we just heard. The layers, the interplay, the instrumentation, the sound effects, who had the best solo, the most rapid fire, energetic, exciting passage. And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most air travel tram maximalist, signing off. <laughs>